this launch control. The much anticipated launch, a no go. A this is video tank, of the SLS rocket tank. from earlier today. Engineer. It's still on the ground in Cape Canaveral, Florida, after, after that launch was scrubbed this morning. NASA to... is focused on turning today's scrubbed mission launch into a learning experience. At Tots News 19 at 4, I'm Christine Killemeyer. And I'm Jerry Hayes. Today was the first launch window for the Artemis 1 mission, and that mission, of course, to launch the unmanned SLS rocket and Orion capsule into space for NASA's eventual return of man and woman on the moon. Now, this afternoon, NASA officials held a briefing to go over what the main issues were and what comes next. News 19's Emily Mosner listened into that briefing, brings us details live from the U.S. Space and Rocket Center this evening here in Huntsville. Good evening. Well, one of the main takeaways from the briefing being that a scrubbed mission is not exactly the end of the world. Now, uh, officials reiterated in previous missions just how many times they've also faced the same outcome, and this wasn't exactly entirely unexpected going into today. Now, during the debriefing, mission manager Mike Serafin went over a series of issues the team ran into throughout the process, starting with a delay to the tanking process because of weather. A hydrogen link was also under covered during the fast fill stage and one of the bigger issues was being unable to properly chill one of the rocket's four main engines. Serafin says engine three was unable to reach the proper temperature. He said that's when they decided to call it for today. The combination of not being able to uh, get the uh, engine three chilled down and then the uh, vent valve uh, issue that they saw at the inner tank really caused us to pause today and, and we felt like we needed a little, little more time. Serafin also says weather issues played a role in the decision. He said precipitation would have created a no-go at the beginning of the window and lightning near the launch pad would have been an issue later on. Now, during the briefing this afternoon, officials said that a launch is very much still on, on the table for Friday. And stay with us here on News 19 coming up at 5 o'clock. I'll go into more details about what they discussed at that briefing and what comes next. But for now, live in Huntsville, Emily Moser, News 19.